Hey everybody and welcome back to Farm Boys Garage and today we're out at the old garage out at my mother's house and as you can probably surmise from the title we're going to be retrofitting some shop lights in this part of the shop. This is uh, a little bit of history on this building here. Uh, it's a two car carport and this section here was built in the late 80s probably 88. We added on this section about a year later so at least 89 or 90 and then this big tall section right here uh in early 90s so the lights in this part of the shop's been here since uh probably around 1990 so that's uh 26 years going on 27 years and i'm having a little bit of trouble out of them so i'll bring you in here and let you see what's going on so when you walk into the old section here this is the original shop, but there's a well house beyond this wall, so it took up a good bit of room. Got my air compressor in here. I did get in here the other day and straightened up a few things. It's a little better. So you walk through this, and the light switch, and there's three shop lights. And watch them work. Well... Actually, that's better than most times, even though this one didn't quite come on all the way. Sometimes these things do not come on at all. And uh, then I'm finally walk over here and tweak on this one a little bit and get it on. I can't really reach these uh, standing from the ground. But uh, anyway, you can kind of see what's going on, and that's uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Two out of three ain't so, bad at uh, all. You know, you got two choices, really, when it comes to these lights giving issues. You know, of course, fluorescent lights in cold weather do not like to uh, operate. And today it's about uh, 60. So it's not too bad cold. But you come out here when it's 30 and it's, you know, probably going to have to have a flashlight. So you, I could, uh, really two options. One would be to replace the entire assembly with a new LED shop light which is uh somewhere around 40 to 60 bucks a piece depending on where you get them but i was looking on amazon and i'll drop the link down here in the bottom where there's a retrofit kit and basically you just cut out the ballast and it includes four four foot tubes so i can do two of these lights and it seemed like it was about thirty dollars i'll uh I'll be sure to correct myself when I'm editing. And I'll definitely leave the link, like I said, down here in the bottom where you can go look. Now, I'm not getting paid. I didn't get these for free. I paid the price on Amazon. And so I'm going to show you how I'm going to wire them up. And we'll see how good they work and where they're worth the money. So stay tuned. All right, so this is what we're going to be using. It's made by Hyper, Hyper, Hypericon, however you pronounce this, Hyper. Hyper Icon USA and this is the double ended kind they also make a single ended kind and it, when you get the single ended you get a like a dummy what they call a tombstone it's basically this piece on the end here that the light plugs into these are 15 watts 44,000k color and of course these do not come with the uh, tombstones, which is these things right here on the end, because these will reuse both sets of tombstones on the retrofit. So uh, I guess I'll get one of these fixtures down. Luckily, these fixtures, they just plug into an outlet, so they're not hardwired. So they be, should be pretty easy to get down and work on. Okay, with well the fixture down just quarter turn usually remove these bulbs just make sure you get it quarter turned out of each end take the bulbs off this and it's got this cover on it so there's a screw here and one down there I've already took this apart because I knew it was full of dirt dauber nest and so I went ahead and uh, knocked all the dirt daubers and all out it was pretty full <clears throat> so basically we got these tombstones down here it's got the white that's basically going to be your neutral and then 
you come up here to where the plug is, you'll see you got one tombstone with red and one with blue. And you got all this wire and mess in here. We don't need this ballast, so we'll just uh, unscrew this little sheet metal nut and remove that. Uh, I think you will have to cut these wires, just cut them close to the ballast if you're not planning on reusing this anywhere. That way you have enough wire to be able to tie back to your uh, black and white going to your plug. If you're hardwired, you're going to snip the blue and red and you're going to wire those together to the black wire coming into the plug and the white wire which will be yellow here we'll take it and we'll tie it together with this white wire coming from the plug and we'll just snip that wire tie it to this and we should be good to go and put it back together all right, I'm going to just fast forward through this part because it's basically um, cutting wires and I wish I brought a good set of wire cutters. So here's the instructions and basically it shows you after the LED you're going to have both reds, both blues tied to the black, two yellows tied to the white. But it does not include any uh, wire nuts so we're going to have to look up and find some wire nuts. Alright so I found a pack of these red connectors says minimum of two number 14s or maximum of four number 12s. So we're going to have five number 14s. So it's going to be just about the max on this. Maybe it'll work. Uh, couldn't find any bigger. we lucky I found these, really. If we have to, we can undo these and move them where we need to. It's just a lot of wires trying to. The chickens is wanting to visit today. It would be a lot easier if these wasn't uh, solid because they will they will cut. If these was uh, like this. Wouldn't be no issue. Like, actually, 
Make that plastic. They come with these uh, end connectors, so you're just going to pull these off. Pull that off. We're going to slide them in. Both in and then turn it. Wow, those things are pretty daggum bright compared to the fluorescent ones. I'm pretty impressed. Let me shut this door and see how much better the light looks. So there's the LEDs. There's the fluorescent. You can definitely tell it's brighter in this area right in here. A lot brighter. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get that one down and get it done the same way. And I'll bring you back. For final thoughts. Alright, so I'm on this second one. I thought I'd show you what I had to do here. Uh, this wire coming off the cord was just really short so I ended up just running a little pigtail over to the other four I just cut a piece off one of these ballast and so you can do that if it's too short just run your little pigtail over to your supply wire and uh, that'll get you there. Now one disclaimer I'm not an electrician now, I know how to wire simple wiring like this but do so at your own risk. Don't blame me if you get electrocuted or burn your house down. Follow all instructions and, you know, be careful. Okay, final shot. Now this is the original fluorescent. Can you tell it's brighter? I'll, uh, I'll put a before and after picture up here. Uh, guys, I am very, very pleased with the with these lights, and I've got two more of these, so I'll be buying another set to retrofit those two. I got one here and one out the house that I'm gonna put in the shop down at the barn. So uh, you'll be looking forward to seeing that. And uh, I guarantee you, I can I can tell. I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but this area here is a lot darker than this area over here. I can tell it. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope this is helpful. And uh, like I said, for the price, you can't beat it. I mean, it takes 10 minutes. And if yours ain't full of dirt dauber nests, it probably don't take that long. So uh, we'll see how the dirt daubers like these bright lights. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't.